It's a brand new Tuesday and it's November time, it's November time, Woo Thanksgiving. Woo -hoo. Well, eat, honey. well, I feel like we ain't recording a long time. That because, you know, we put, what did we put up last week? Um, the loaf. blueberry, lemon, loaf. And, you like know, two weeks ago. No, I put up video every week, so that was last Tuesday. This that we did that on a Sunday and you're so used to recording on a Monday. But we're back and it's November, so what I'm going to show you guys, um, Desserts, pies, um, how to make cranberry sauce, how to make your own crust. Um, hopefully I can get a turkey or ham in on there. I'm not too sure about that, but I know I'm going to focus on some pies, um, how to make homemade biscuits. Um, you don't want those dried up rolls that you get every year. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But um, today, sweet potato day, sweet potato pie. Booyah. Yeah. So, this is what you're gonna need: your sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. some ice cold water, some all-purpose flour, all your utensils to cook with, measure cups, measure spoons, um, a stick and a half of cold chopped butter, some sugar, vanilla, three eggs at room temperature, brown sugar, milk, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, salt and shortening that's for the crust a lot of stuff that's on here it's a mixture and everything's on the counter um because i'm gonna show you guys how to make a crust from scratch it's really easy but it took me maybe about four times before i actually got it so if you're not good with making crust from scratch hey do what i used to do what i what i do when i got a lot of stuff to cook go ahead and buy the crust the nine inch crust um you're gonna need a pie pan they don't look at my pan, this is a normal. Like, <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start off with the sweet potatoes. Um, normally I would use three large sweet potatoes, but the store I went to, they already had a sweet potatoes um, bag. So I'm using four, but normally for this recipe, you need to have, this need like three large sweet potatoes, but I'm using four because they were already bagged and you know, they're not that big. So I'll put the oven on 400, Brandon. They look alive. They don't look alive, child. We're going to put the oven on 400. No, turn it back off. Turn it back off. Hit bake. Hit the plus. Take it up to 400. And I'm taking up the 400 because instead of boiling <laughs> my sweet potatoes, I'm going to bake them. They're going to get caramelized. They're going to taste good. Because to me, when you boil them, I'm thinking, baby, the sweet potatoes are getting, getting water. You know, it has water in them. Even when you drain them off, they may be a little bit mushy. I'm not sure. But I like baking them. So this is going to go in the oven. I wash them off. Oh, you ain't peeling them? No, not going to throw them to afterwards. Oh. It's easier to peel them after you bake them or boil them. Mm -hmm. But you can boil them. If you guys prefer to boil them, you can. I'm going to bake mine. And once they're done, you can just pull that skin off. But I'm going to put these in the oven on 400 degrees. About 45 to 50 minutes. That's all. And then, and then I'm going to test them. And hopefully they'll be nice and ready for you guys. So let me put these in the oven on 400 degrees. I washed them. I just got them on a little cookie tray with them for and don't add nothing to them and I'm going to bake them. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do homemade crust. It is easy, but I'm going to get some of my waffle maker in the way. Waffle maker out the way and some of these ingredients that I have for my pie filling, I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side and one second. Okay, so I had a bit of engine problem. Thumb blocking him. No, mom. Okay. I had a little bit of engine problem with my food processor. I don't know what's going on. So guess what? I should have did it this way from the beginning. I was trying to be fancy. You know the song say like, you're fancy now. Nah. <laughs> well That was corny. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my god. That's why I'm not a comedian. Okay, <laughs> so what I did is that I stuck everything in my good old silver bowl. 
reliable bowl. If you got a reliable bowl, hey, go with that. Or well, if you got a better food processor, go with that. So I just put all of my ingredients in here. The stick and a half of cold chopped diced butter, the third three fourth cup of um shortening, and you know, and my flour mixture. And I'm gonna do it old school. I'm not using no knife, I'm not using no fork. This is what I do. I want it crumbly. I want to get a good texture. It's going to be crumbly. Like I can't, if you don't know how to, if, if, if you try it and this don't work for you, you know, you can go ahead and buy your crust. And you know, that's one less step. Even with, you know, buying crust. And if you make the, the um, filling homemade, you can still say you made a homemade sweet potato pie. Don't nobody got to know you ain't make the crust with you. Because that filling is yours. You made that filling. So it, it, it is what you call semi-homemade. You got store-bought crust. I'm going to use both my hands because the arthritis is kicking in. feel like I'm about to cramp up. Then you use store-bought crust and you use your homemade filling. Hey, make that pie. It's still going to be good. It, I don't know if you can see how the texture is changing here. See how it's getting crumbly. And again, I use butter and shortening because, again, I want the butter to be buttery and I want the shortening to make it flaky. So, in this recipe, ooh, shit. Did he just drop the camera in the dough? Yes, he did. My bad. Can you still see? Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah, it's going. Oh! That's how the action but it's you never know what may happen. Sorry for the cuts in you guys. We were blocking out there. No. But hey, it was a reaction. You know, we have the reaction. Yeah. And look how look how crumbly it's getting. And it's doing exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be crumbly. I wanted to have a crumbly texture. Yeah, I'm sitting down. We're in a different area. Okay. It's getting really, really crumbly. So I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. And I have a lot of requests, you know, to do a lot of different things. I'm talking to you guys. I want this to be crumbly. It's not really too many directions I could give with this. Is that you want it nice and crumbly. And you can still have bits of um, butter in it. And it just looks, you see it looks like sand now, how crumbly it looks. That's how you want it to be. Again, use your hands. I like cooking with my hands. It's just what it is. Just wash them hands. And you're going to make the best food because a lot of people say you put your foot in it. No, I put my hand in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm doing for, for my family. <laughs> so, you know, all they got dibs on this thing. This sweet potato pie. I told somebody that I was going to have this pie ready by four. I didn't. I'm going to mm. So, now to me, this is good for me. See how crumbly it is? It's, it's flowery, crumbly. I still got bits of butter in there, bits of um, um, shortening in there. And what I'm gonna do is right now, I'm gonna add my water. The ice is melted, but if you look at this, all no, all this is not going in here. I just wanted to make some real, real cold water. So just a little bit of water, about two or three ice cubes. And I'm just gonna put a dab about get ice cream in, about a teaspoon of water it don't take a lot of water to make it don't take a lot to make your dough mm. <laughs> a teaspoon or two bless you oh thank you how to cool my dough mm. another teaspoon you want real 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 cold water Again, about a teaspoon or two. I just want to get it stuck together. You see how it's getting stuck? <laughs> so this is going to take about three teaspoons. You see how it's getting, see? That's going to be my dough. Look at that. Three teaspoons. I don't want to do all three teaspoons at one time because Um, touching the cold, ain't you? Don't worry, he's facing another direction. 
I'm glad you said that was my thing nasty. Hey, man, people know people um me. Okay. So it's getting stuck together. It's getting that crumbly dough that I want to be. This is gonna be a good, good crust. You see? Look. That's gonna be my pie crust, you guys. They're like on a piece of dough. Mm. One more teaspoon. I'm gonna say I did about four teaspoons of water. That's all I'm giving it. Four teaspoons. Four teaspoons of water. Have the rest of water. It's cold too. You really can. Trying to get out the thing. Okay. So once you guys follow me to the camp counter. Remember, look at it. It's doughy. Follow me to the counter, and I'm going to put it all together for you. It has that dough tea. It's, it's doughy. Okay. So. My crust been refrigerated for an hour. I'm taking it out. I'm gonna roll it out. I got my flour right here. Yeah, I got my flour. I'm putting some on my hands, and I'm probably gonna put some on my clothes too. <laughs> and on my what's this thing called? My rolling pan. Flour it up, and I'm just gonna. Who uh, just text me? Roll it out, and it's cold. I don't know about no inches and all that stuff. I'm just gonna roll this thing out to it as big as my um my pie crust. That's what I'm gonna do. And to it as big as my I said big as my pie crust, as big as my pie pan. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna roll it out. Look. <laughs> I ain't the best crust maker, but this crust works for me. You see, it's on. Um, it's like a gingerbread. <laughs> like I'm trying to spread it all out there. Is it like tough? Yeah, I mean it's been in the refrigerator, but you want it in the refrigerator because it makes a good um, make a good pie. And my um, sweet potatoes are done, you guys. Uh, they cook about for an hour on 400 and I got those ready that I, yeah I feel like I just got some strength they see you making a video though right yeah football always messing me up okay I got stuff in the way I ain't move things I do that moving that stuff. So what I'm gonna do with this crust is that, see, cool is my pan is big enough. It's wide enough for my pie pan. Yeah. That what you guys want to do. Now see these are my sweet potatoes. I baked them in the oven. I'm gonna put that together for you guys. I'll, okay. Yeah. What you wanna know? No, no man. Okay. I'm talking too much. I'm gonna put this up in here. And what I want to do is that I want to lift this up. Right? Mm -hmm. I want to lift it up. Hey, I'm not even laughing. Some of y'all pie crusts might come out better than mine. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get it to wrap around here. Don't worry, I got this. Give me a T. T. Give me an A. A. Go tall. I ain't supposed to hold there. <laughs> Go tall. You roll that pie crust. I'm going to roll the pie crust around my rolling pan. Like a big old burrito. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my rolling pan. I'm gonna lay it, uh, lay it across here. And bingo. Was his name Rose? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey guys, this ain't the best looking pack rose. But hey. My boo was already texting me hard, man. Well, like, your boo gonna have to text you. I'm gonna tear some of that off. <laughs> what is they? Hey, kind of turn that off. Hey, cut that TV down. <laughs> this is not the best power crush, you guys. But it's going. I mean, not as far as like it's the best power couple taste. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there. Hey. Hey, I like Granny Smith, but yeah. I ain't no Granny Smith. Yeah, you sold the tea, baby. So, 
I just do, I'm just pinching it together, pinching the sides of it together, and what's hanging, I'm going to take off. And this is a 9 inch. Again, I tell everybody, they know I'm not a pastry chef. So what I do is all self taught. I mean, if you get a better roll with your with yours, it's hard to make crust. Like I said, it took me. I had to make this crust. So I'm turn the butter on. I'm melting the butter. That's for my filling. Well, you know how to put it together. Come on, people. Put it together. This is say you're a kid playing the Play-Doh, man. Yeah, Play-Doh. Oh, Play-Doh. I know it's called Play-Doh. No, it is called Play-Doh. You yeah. said Play-Doh. Oh, yeah. Play-Doh. Say play. Here we go. Put it together. Pinch it. Again, if you can make yours look pretty than mine, hey, go for it. Then again, you know what? If you ain't sure or certain about the crust, hey, have a store brought crust on standby. I don't have one on standby, but hey, I think this is great. The taste is going to be good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The taste is going to be great. See, I just put that together, honey. It's called mending. You know how to mess stuff. Look at that. That's so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm putting the fridge ready for 10 minutes. Why? Because you want it to get be cold. So I'm putting the fridge ready for 10 minutes while I mix up the um mixture and we're about to do our pie filling why do you like that because it's way clearer than it was earlier but go ahead oh okay we're about to do our pie filling and let's just go over what we're going to need one stick of unsalted melted butter four sweet potatoes baked they're baked they baked for an hour at three at 400 degrees you're going to need brown sugar cinnamon milk nutmeg allspice three eggs vanilla okay so what i'm gonna add to this first is my three eggs because i want to make them fluffy the egg make your batter light and fluffy and everything is at room temperature the eggs is at room temperature and the um milk is at room temperature your food come out good because if you use a lot of cold things when baking you're gonna shock how the heck you shock food i don't know i'm gonna tell you what i know okay standard hand mixer you guys you can use that I don't have one I, I, and I prefer this this is gonna be nice and fluffy and you don't want to mix it that long a good two to three minutes break it down and I'm just gonna let it down some see look at that so it's nice and mixed. I use my three eggs, three potatoes. Now, this way everything will come together. I'm going to pull in my one stick of unsalted melted butter. I'm going to give you two teaspoons of pure vanilla. Guys, try to use pure vanilla. If you got imitation, okay, go for it. But I know this is kind of expensive, but when I'm baking, I kind of like, I buy what I need when I'm baking. One cup of brown sugar. I'm going to start off with one cup of brown sugars. sugar. It depends on how sweet you want it or how much sugar you're going to do. So once we get it all mixed up well, I'm going to do a test, a sweet test. Allspice, one fourth teaspoon. Because allspice is... It's powerful. It's, it's really powerful. Nutmeg is powerful. But you want them good flavors. I'm doing one fourth. I'm gonna, I really want to have it even. One fourth of nutmeg. That's it. That's all with that. Now my cinnamon. I love to taste my cinnamon. I love the smell of cooking in my sweet potato pie. So I'm doing one table. See the difference? It's big. I bumped you, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. 
you know, one of the even, one tablespoon of cinnamon. Lord, plunge it, just leave it like that. And then I'm gonna do one cup of milk, which is also at room temperature. With this recipe, the only thing I will be adjusting is the sugar because it's going to depend on taste on what it's going to taste like when I put it in. Okay. So let's put it, let me lift it up and, sp and spin it on the other. Again, if you have a hand, oh, that smells good. If you have a hand mixer, oh, I mean, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Stand back there. I need to get in here. And now, I want to see how loose it is. I want to show you guys. See how loose it is? To this. <laughs> yeah. I feel like so that one too. Yeah. To this, you guys, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. Because it's going to help with the thickness. Then I'm going to turn it back on. And that's going to help. You see how thick it is? See how that flour? Look at that. It did it already. So what I want to do at this point, I want to taste it. Oh. Good. Mmm. Hey, it don't need no more sugar. I'm going to spin it. So, because the molasses of the brown sugar, it does something to it when it gets the bacon. And so this is ready. That's how simple it is, you guys. I'm going to take it down. Take this off. And of course, I'm going to scrape my bowl down. And then... Finish stirring with my hands. Please don't fall on the floor. Again, if you have a hand mixer, it will work. See? Ooh. It smells awesome. So now, my crust been in the fridge ready for 10 minutes. My oven is at 375. This will go in the oven. Let me get it. At 375, I'm going to hold it. Oh, put it on camera. I'm not. On the oven at 375 to 45 to 50 minutes. Say hi, Brandon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's in the bottom of the refrigerator. Yeah, so this is great, you guys. It's easy. No more sugar is needed. That one table, that one cup of brown sugar was just perfect. Yeah, give it to me for pack trail. Okay. And this is a nine-inch pack trail for this recipe, and it's taking all of this. It's it's a deep nine-inch pack trail. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. We got whipped cream. Mm -mm. 375 for about 55 minutes. And I'm just going to spread it. No, I need that. You say? No, I need the um, cook sheet. Okay, so 375, you guys. Put that in the sink. And I'm going to place it in the oven. Stand back. Brandon right, don't like the oven. I'm gonna put it on a cookie sheet because I don't want any crust to come off or overflow. But this is my pie. Go in there in the oven at 375 for about 55 minutes. I'll see you in an hour, sweet thing. About 55 minutes, I'm taking the pie out of the oven. Step back, Brandon. Yeah, I should do something else to take it out the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let me on the side right here. Ooh, scandalous. So this is my pie. So for tea, sweet potato pie. It's nice and it's firm. But you don't want to cut oh, it. Boy. I want to wait at least about an hour to two hours to let it cool off. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cut it. 
I'm going to let you guys see it. You can see it when it comes out the oven. And I'm going to let it sit about two hours. And I'm going to cut a piece and plate it. Okay, we're back. It's been about an hour. I'm going to cut this pie and plate it for you guys. And let's see what's going to happen. Because my son Jackson. Oh, I need some of his hat. It's been two hours though, right? It's been an hour. Because I wanted to be stiff. And you know what? Why I ain't get the spatula? It smells like a regular one you got from Thanksgiving every year. Wow, Brandon. Of course it is. I'm slow sometimes. Yeah, I know you are. Okay, it I need a spatula. Not, yeah, I need a spatula. Get a spoon for you. Just grab it, see if it works. I need a fork. There you go. Oh, there it is. Oh, you do well, me. There you go, you guys. That's the last Look thing coming up. Yeah. It only been sitting for an hour. But, if you have whipped cream or anything like that, the to top yours with, if you can. Look how stiff it is. And, mm, I can't gonna, eat that on the diet. Well, I'm going to taste it first. I lost like 25 pounds so far. Mmm. Mmm. It's hot. dirty. <laughs> but it's good. Come on, Jackson. It's hot. Oh, I'm cheating on Thanksgiving, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hot. It's hot. Take it to the battle hair. Mmm. It's good. It's good. Give thumbs up. It's good. Mm. Get the rest of that. Is that? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he took one for the team. I see. <laughs> okay. This pie tastes great. The crust is good. And if you have some whipped cream or anything, you can put on top of there. Or you can go to my um how to make a lemon blueberry um loaf and I show you how to make homemade whipped cream. Guys, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Make this wonderful pie. Again, if you can't get the crust, buy store store crust because actually for Thanksgiving, I'm buying store crust. I don't have time for all that. I just want to show you guys yeah, how you to get a lot of cooking. crust. But um like, subscribe, see you next Tuesday. Oh, and share and happy Thanksgiving. And what else you want to say? Happy Thanksgiving. Andrew, you want to try a piece of pie? Sorry. But see, it's hot. I'm gonna bite into it. You know what a calamari is? Come on, I ain't gonna be fine. You gonna bite into it. No, I know. I can't bite that. Look at the inside. It carries my meat of a quiche. That's what it might mean, a quiche. Guys, I wanna taste it, but I can't.